Hey guys, it's Erica with Not Your Ever GDC. And Robbie with Bumblebee Bravery. We're here to do a pocket dump. Zadie, stop. See, we, it's always the dogs. The dogs are here Already. every freaking time. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a work EDC pocket dump because his is actually pretty cool, very different from mine. So we'll Yours do his. Cool too, so. Mine is pretty cool too. We're going to do his first because he's the guest. So, Robbie, what do you awesome. carry on you for work? Uh, well, of course, since the beginning, the bug out. Such a good choice. See? His is beat up really bad though. Yeah. Well, I'll <laughs> use it for like rubbing against metal, prying out screens for windows or pretty much any nook or cranny that you have to get into and you need a pry bar. You, wait, but, you have to tell them what you do for work. They don't. Oh, sorry. I do window cleaning and house maintenance, but uh, if you're taking something apart that has a bunch of dirt or grit stuck in it, you need to be able to get in there. So, thin, bug out, handy, lightweight. Uh, and then also, currently this month, I'm carrying the 940 original. Twinning. Hold on. Twinning. Yeah. Twinning. And Joff, if you're watching this, you're part of our army too. Indeed. 940 army. Yes. Uh, for me, I get bored or I'll want to like have a phone call. So, not, AirPods. Simple. Um, recently, probably about a month ago or so, I started carrying the, uh, I forget which version this is, but the Lynch. A Lynch, Lynch pry clip, bar. The pry bar. Yeah. It's, it's the, not the smallest one, but the next one up. So, it's the... DLT exclusive thing. Uh, of course, wallet because you got to know who you are. <laughs> and, <Thank> you. <laughs> um, Leatherman Wave. I got the plus because he has the cool one. It's and I, I got it like because I'm bougie, so <laughs> I wanted to get the different color scheme on there. Yeah, that's awesome. Added a deep carry clip, so that way I don't have to have it poking into everything else. Um, you can't go wrong with. Extra bits. Yeah. So I got the bits. And it's really annoying to get in where you're trying to take something out and you just have this much space and you don't have a ratchet right. extender. So do that. And then for the first time ever, I don't usually show my phone if I'm taking any kind of video because I'm using the phone. So Right. Yeah. Okay. And what do you what do you use your Leatherman for? Or do is that more of like in case you need it? Because I, I use mine like every day, but I know some people carry one in case they need it and they really don't use it that often like what's your uh it doesn't necessarily get used every day yep. um i do love the fact that with the extended bits i have now something i can take apart my knives with because yeah. regular screwdrivers don't do that right. so any torx bit you yeah need, yeah need all that so. the leatherman bits if you buy the bit kit separate are actually really nice i use them to yeah. take my knives apart too um i did have like a little kershaw bit driver thing and i actually broke the bits on it like they just literally broke yeah. in half so the leatherman bits are really good they're really good quality and they're super thin too this yeah this is not this is not your regular screwdriver and size. these are all double-sided yes so yeah, you're that's... getting a ton of options yeah well, i don't even know how many that is what 20 40? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, it's like 40 different. Right. So, and then it comes with, I mean, you can carry one. If you know for some reason you're going to need just one uh, one setup all day, then you can just pop it in and keep it with this. You don't even need the rest of the bits. But right. I like the options of having all that with it. So. All right. Here we go. Let's do the, the annoying, stuff. boring stuff. Smashed phone with tons of notifications from Instagram. <laughs> Check. Nobody cares. Chapstick. Nobody gives a shit. Wallet. The cool wallet Everyone from loves Fails. That wallet. I know because it's awesome. So this is from Ryan at Fail Safe Goods. Really nice wallet. I won't buy any other leather work other than his when it comes to wallets because he is the best and nobody else is as good as him. And that color scheme. Yes. Is that a custom color scheme that you worked with him? Yes. Did I've it? mentioned this before, I think, but um, I told him I want a not your average wallet. I didn't want anything to do with the colors. Like, he could decide. So he literally just chose random stuff. So he picked, like, maroon, teal, brown, uh, yellow, thread. It's just the whole thing is completely different colors. And um, I think it looks great. And I haven't seen one like this because it's so random and it was supposed to be not your average. It even has a lanyard on it. It even has a lanyard with a bead that my good friend Christopher made. Um, okay, tail of knives belt sheath. Really nice belt sheath. This is the first time I've used their stuff. It's breaking in amazing. I have not seen quality like this before when it comes to belt sheaths. So like Ryan, amazing wallets. Although he, he might actually do sheaths too. 
I'm sure he does, and if he does, they're going to be just as good. But I've only used his, like, wallets. Tail of Knives belt sheath with a an old-school Leatherman Wave. I've had this for, I think, eight years, the same exact model. So this one is, like, so broken, and it's pretty much silent. Covered in paint and shit. Um, I use this every day. The needle nose pliers, very useful, and I use... I, I'm renovating a house right now, so the screwdriver bits get used a ton. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. Now for that, the tail and knives, uh, leather sheath. Yep. Do they have different sizes, or is they it do. customized? You can pick what you have. So they have a ton of different sizes. This is like their medium sized sheath. They do have one that has a pen slot as well. That's they cool. also make them for just multi tools. They make so many options. Check them out for sure. Um, I have no um, like connection with these people. Uh, they, they do not know who I am, so I'm not promoting for them or anything. It's literally like, I just really like their stuff. They don't know who I, I am. I wish I had a connection with those, because those are cool. They are. They're <laughs> really cool. Uh, flashlight, the, the light that I'm testing this month is the Phoenix E12. Uh, this is great so far. Just a really simple flashlight, and I like the size. It's perfect. Also like the clicky tail. And random um little bit of information here if you do photos for instagram like most of my stuff is on instagram uh if you like to do cool stuff with your photos using a flashlight that's flat like this with a flat top is how i get my floating shots so people will message me and be like how did you get your knife to look like it's floating literally put the flashlight on a flat surface and as long as it has a flat top like this one the button is recessed you can set your knife on there and take a floating shot. Like, it makes it look like your knife is floating in the photo. That's the trick, is the flashlight thing. I believe Doug from the Shutter Doug taught me mm. that. Either that or it was uh, Kyle from P Sharp. Yeah, P Sharp, I think it is. Um, okay, yeah, flashlight, check. Great advice. Notebook. This is... Upside down. Is it? Oh, no, this side's upside down. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, notebook. Take notes all day. We just died. Oh, no. <laughs> we just died. Oh, that's cool. There we go. We're back. Okay, we're still good. Um, pen. Little titanium pen. I know, it's only a mess here. I'm sorry. Uh, this is from Big Idea Design. Really tiny little pen. Paint. Covered in paint and who knows what else. And holy. And holy. Sunday kit. Yes. <laughs> um, pliers. These ones I use for like, I mean, these are literally like jaws, like death grip jaws. These are the ones that I used in my video to pull those brackets off of the windows mm. when I was using the 940 as a pry bar and then using these to like rip the remaining pieces off. These things are killer. These are Nipex. I don't know what size, but it's like their second or third smallest size. Uh, Five? There's a smaller one that's all black, no rubber. Y right. Yeah. Okay. This is one size above the smallest. Okay. Mini Champ with titanium scales from Daily Custom. This has all of my little intricate, intricate tools in on it. Intricate tools on it. So scissors and tiny, tiny Phillips. Uh, this is all the little tiny tools with a. T ooh, a <gasps> that bug just landed on me. Look at it. Well, I think the bug has chosen its uh, EDC choice. Yeah. <laughs> I like your style. The mini, the mini champ. <laughs> right. This is the Tinker. And this has some great tools on it, too. Uh, I really like that you can put the pin in here because pins are super useful. Look at that tiny little pin. That goes in the scales of this. How often is it that you go around and you're like, oh, I don't need something really small and then suddenly you come across it and you're like well I just I can't do that no one no one can solve that problem but if you had a little pen yep yeah it honestly happens all the time so this I've carried for years and years and years I mean this is just beat to crap but the grand finale what we're all waiting for the 940 yes the knife of the month the 940 so oh no mine what? got scratched well, now you have to sell it and get a new one. Uh, or I could just use my shit. Yeah, or you could just use your shit. So here it is. The test knife for this month. I put a split arrow clip on it 
and it does have a custom stud. I don't know where you can get these now because it came from a friend who I, I don't, I don't know where he got this, but, um, yeah, 940, that's the knife for the month. And for everyone asking why I'm using it as a pry bar, I will reiterate again. The test is testing. The blade and the knife as a whole, uh, using it for something other than a knife as well, because everyone talks about using the 940 as a pry bar and a screwdriver, yeah. Wrangler Star, and <laughs> we don't really have proof. So the point of the test is not only to test the 940, but to test it as a tool other than a knife too, to prove that it can do it, which we already had an oopsie when I broke the tip off. Okay, so that's the point of the testing is like, can you actually do everything that everyone says with the knife? Well, honestly, so far, no. No, because I broke the tip off. And it's a tiny portion that broke off, but it still did break. And I was, I was kind of surprised. So that's why I don't have a pry bar this month. I'm purposely not carrying one. We're carrying the 940 as a pry bar and a screwdriver and a scraper and a cutting utensil. So, yeah, there it is, carrying it for all of August, and that's, ooh, look at that, that's nice. That's this has nice gunny glide nice. in it. That is some nice what, stuff. What is gunny glide? It's, uh, okay, so I actually just used it yesterday for the first time. Uh, it's kind of like KPL. I've never really used it before or anything, and, I, and I've heard of it, but I had never used it, but it's actually really nice. Like, look at this, watch. Bing. That's smooth. That is yeah, that's smooth. buttery smooth. Somebody is like hitting us up on Instagram. Well. Um, yeah, so Gunny Glide. I like that stuff so far. But that is the the work carry for both of us. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a great day. And um, do you know what we have to tell them to do? Uh, uh, something about using things. Yeah, uh, I think so. What is it called? Uh, is it called so use, use your use shit? your shit? Yeah, use your, you've heard of that before. Yeah, right? I have. Okay. Uh, uh, some some person who just uses everything she has. I yeah, think. I've heard of her too, and she always is like, use your shit. So maybe we'll just say it together. So, um, yeah, use your shit, guys. Okay? Use your shit. <laughs> use your shit. I Have mean, a great day. See you later. Bye.